In this video, we'll be using unit multipliers to convert volume. Our first problem is to convert 25 liters to cubic inches. Now you'll notice that we're going from metric to English, and these are volume measurements. So we're going to need to use one milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeter. Okay. Now I know we're not uh, wanting to go to cubic centimeters, but we can then use the fact that uh, 2.54 centimeters is equal to one inch. So we're going to use these two um, equivalences in unit multipliers to convert. So we'll start with what we're given, 25 liters. And we're going to write it as a fraction and put it over 1 because then our unit multipliers will be fractions and we'll be able to cancel the units. So we know that 1 liter, and since I have liters in the numerator here, I want my liters in the denominator so these two will cancel. We know that 1 liter is the same as 1,000 milliliters. Um, now our liter units will cancel and I'm in milliliters now. Since I'm in milliliters now I can use this in a unit multiplier. My milliliters are in the top so I want one milliliter in the denominator and that's equivalent to one cubic centimeter. I'll put that in the numerator. Now this unit in the top and this unit in the bottom will cancel. Now I'm in cubic centimeters. I want to go to cubic inches, so I'll use this equivalence. My centimeters will be in the bottom. So I have 2.54 centimeters and one inch in my unit multiplier. Now the thing about volume is, this is to the third power, and this is only to the first power. So what I need to do then to be able to cancel these off is I need to cube every factor here, including the units. So I'll be cubing cubic centimeters, 2.54 cubed, inches cubed, and one cubed. Now that I have cubic centimeters in the denominator and cubic centimeters in the numerator, I can cancel those off. And I have changed now to cubic inches in my units. So this is my answer. Um, I'm going to write it first with all the factors showing 25 times 1,000 divided by 2.54 cubed. Make sure you get that cube done there. And that's uh, inches cubed. So this is my answer. And when I put that in my calculator, it comes out to be approximately 1,525.6 cubic inches. Let's do another one. And on this one, I want to convert 20 cubic feet to liters. So I'm going from English this time to metric. So again, I'm going to use the volume equivalence of one centimeter cube is the same as one milliliter. And then I'm also going to need one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. I'll start with my 20 cubic feet. I'll write that this way so that I can cube my unit multipliers over here. I need to go from feet down to inches and then I can make the jump over to the metric system. So uh, one foot is 12 inches. And again, I have to cube every factor here. So now I have cubic feet in the bottom and cubic feet in the top. 
and I can cancel. Since I now have cubic inches, or inches, I can make the jump to metric. This uh, one inch, I'll put in the denominator, and that's equal to 2.54 centimeters in the numerator. And again, I have cubic inches here, so I need cubic here. Now I can cancel my cubic inches off. And since I have cubic centimeters, I can now use this equivalence in the unit multiplier. So one cubic centimeter is the same as one milliliter. Right. Now, no need to cube things because I have my cubic centimeters here, so I don't need to do any cubing. I can go ahead and cancel this cubic centimeters off. And then finally, I want to go to liters, so I know that milliliters here and liters, the liter is the bigger capacity or volume, so one liter is a thousand milliliters and I can cancel my milliliters off. So now I've taken it to liters, I'm ready to write my answer. I'll write it with factors first. 20 times 12 cubed times 2.54 cubed is a thousand. And this is the liters. So this is my answer in factored form. I need approximately 566.3 liters.